this one really hits home for me because I pretty much grew up just saying, how should I be? How should I act within society? And I lived into that, okay? So I lived into that with, you know, how I acted, how I dressed, how I spoke. I didn't curse, I didn't do bad, I only did good. Why? Because of the way that I, I thought this is how I should be, all right? Society, I didn't have the internet like the internet was around. I didn't have the smartphone like it is now. People, kids in general, are going to be way more about an, an amorphous, just big bean, all right? They come together, together better, but there's very little differentiation, okay? When you differentiate, you stand out. But when you stand out, there's the case for criticism. There's the case for laughing and questioning and judging. Standing out is waking up early, making YouTube videos about personal development. It's talking to a pretty girl, getting shutting down, going over your, to your boys and them laughing at you because you took a risk, okay? You didn't live within society's ways and means, okay? When you live within society and you just, you sit there like a little egg and you, you don't, you don't want to hatch, you don't want to break, you don't want to do anything, you just look around in fear, you're not expanding. And happiness actually comes from progress. So when you're progressing, when you start seeing results, and I just made a video, a live stream about this, is that it's all about the effort. The outcome will come as long as you put in the effort, okay? I don't know when it's gonna come. It could be six months, could be a year, could be six years. I have no idea. But when you live within society and their expectations and they're dictating your life, you're not actually living your life. You're living what people want you to live their life. Here's the example. One of my good friends, he's in engineering. He hates it. Why is he in, in, in engineering? Because his dad has an engineering company. So he has this job that he absolutely despises and he actually doesn't like his dad because he's living to his dad's expectations and not his. I implore you to read one article. That article is the top five regrets of the dying. Just Google it, it will be the first thing that comes up. There's an accompanying book, but I just go over the article. And number one was the one of the top, if not the top one was living a life true to myself and not what other people wanted me to live their life to. Your parents want you to live this way. Society, social media, your friends, your church, your synagogue, whatever the case is, they have a way they want you to live, okay? I'm not saying do things that are un illegal, immoral, unethical. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying do what you want to do. If you don't like engineering, I, c I come from a family. My dad was an accountant. My brother is in finance. My sister is in finance. Uh, my uncle was an accountant. They're numbers. Math. I sucked at math. I, st I still suck at math. I'm creative. I like to build things. I like to progress. I like to expand. That's me, okay? I tried uh, finance. It didn't work out. I left, I volunteered to be laid off during the recession, okay? Stop living to what the society wants you to live. Live to the way you wanna live. Read that article, top five, top five regrets of the dying, all right? Live a life true to what you want, not what society wants. Have an awesome day.